All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to use Excel to create a cash flow, or otherwise known as a general ledger. This is a document that you may be very familiar with. You probably see it very often if you have a bank account or a credit card. Uh, it's very close to your monthly statement. What we're going to do is we're going to create one in Excel that you can use for pretty much anything. Why is the cash flow very important? Well, because bills don't come in all at the same time and paychecks don't come in all at the same time. You need to make sure that you know uh, when you're getting paid and when bills are coming in so that you have the money in your account and when you make transfers to savings accounts and all that stuff. Not everything in the financial world happens on the same day. So this uh, statement, the cash flow, will help you get it together. So to start, we're going to put uh, cash flow. And then we'll make it, uh, you know, this is more, these are more stylistic changes, but we'll make them nice and pretty. And now I'm going to need five rows, make it bold. Okay, that's my cash flow. I have five things that I want to know in order to properly gauge where my money is going. Number one, column one, date. This tells me when transactions have happened, when they're coming in, when they're going out. Very important. Number two is the transaction itself. What is it that's actually happening? Is it money coming in or money coming out? Did I pay a credit card bill? Is it a paycheck? Any number of different things. Number three is the column of debit. This is the column that's reserved for money coming out. Number four is credit, money coming in. And finally, number five, current balance. Also very important because it helps me to understand how much money I have when an individual transaction happens. I'm going to do some formatting here. So first I'm going to do this row. I like to have it centered, bold, and underlined. Make it nice and pretty. I'm going to click this whole column and I'm going to format it so that it's a date. I want to know days. It's very important. I like to put them in this format, but anything that shows you the day, month, and year is acceptable. I'll click this one transaction I'm gonna leave it as is because it's just general text but if you want you can format it and put it into text then these three right here I'm going to format them as currency I wanna have two decimal points and I want it to be nice and red with parentheses when there's a negative number also with a dollar sign helps me to get a better gauge with the colors of how my money's moving back and forth so just to give you an example of a few transactions Let's say that on the first day of this year, I got a paycheck and it was for $1,000. I'm not going to put it in debit because it's money coming in. So I'm going to put it here in credit. Then I'm going to click enter. For this first number, what I want to do is I'm going to use sum and then I'm going to do a quick formula like that. That helps me to understand how much money I have in my account right now. So I open this hypothetical account so I only have $1,000. The next day, I paid a bill. Let's say I paid a credit card bill. And this is a debit. So I'm going to put a minus because it's money coming out. It's being removed from my account. And then I'm going to write, I don't know, that my bill was $100. Notice how it turns up red like that? This is a good way of showing me that money is coming out. It stands out. I leave credit blank because it can only be one of two types of transactions. Then check out the formula I'm going to write. I'm going to type here. I'm going to click E3. Then I'm going to click C4. Notice how there's a plus sign added. And then I'm going to click D4 again. Press Enter. And now my balance has gone down by $900, reflected whatever the amount is. Great thing is that for every new transaction that I uh, add, I can just keep dropping down the same formula and it will keep including it. If you want to, you can choose all five columns like this. Double click the last one to improve the formatting so there's no overlap. But generally speaking, that's it. That's what a cash flow is. It's just that consistently through. Thankfully, the cash flow is a very simple document. Not very much to it. As long as you get the five essentials, you've pretty much understood it. And you can just go line by line every time you get a bank account uh, statement or a credit card statement or anything, really. You can go and include it in your mass cash flow and better understand where your money is going. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me. Have a great day.